Good Tuesday morning, Mount Olive Church family and friends. Hope everybody's having a great start to the week. And we'll get our screen pulled up here in just a second. And uh, continue on here uh, with devotions this week and Tuesday devotion, uh, pastor's message on Sunday, the mission, the mission and the ministry of heaven and talking about the parable in, in, in Luke chapter 15. And, uh, and, and we'll read that here in just a second on the scripture. You can see I've got, uh, I've got a picture here of Jesus holding a lamb. Um, you know, so pastor talked about that. He read that scripture uh, in Luke, and we're going to read here, and he he brought out some some wonderful points that the Lord had laid on his heart. Uh, I'll share a couple of those in my devotion. Uh, but Luke chapter fifteen four says, "What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it?" I thought that was very important too. That last part of verse four. I've read this so many times. I don't know that that had spoke to me as much uh, ever before as it did Sunday morning. The last sentence in verse four that says, until he find it. Uh, you know, he's a shepherd is uh, in his love for his sheep. When he goes out to do that, he's he's going on a mission and he's going to find that one no matter what he has to do or how long it takes him or how nasty or how messy it may get. Uh, verse 5 says, and we have found it, he layeth it on his shoulders rejoicing. And pastor brought out that cheap uh, Sunday and he carried, you know, he, he, he got to the point of talking about uh, finding it and then throwing it up on his shoulders and carrying it. Um, and so there was a couple of points closer, I guess, um, towards the ending of it that I want to touch on. The saving or the searching shepherd and the saving shepherd. I'm going to throw both of those in for mine today. Um, but John chapter 10, 11 says this, I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. The good shepherd is willing to sacrifice his life. He's be able to, he's willing to sacrifice anything that he has or, uh, to carry the load, to fight through the mess, to pick us up in the nastiness, the slop, the smell, whatever it is. He's willing to do that um, because he's willing to give us give his life for us. Um, so two points that I want to throw out there on the searching shepherd. Number one, when God's searching for us, when when the Lord is looking for us and, and we've kind of turned away and I love how pastor used the, uh, how he used the, 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 the rod and, you know, the staff, he would pull them back in. He would take the hook on it. And he would pull them back in. Uh, but another point that he brought out and it's, you know, and he talked about this scripture that they know his voice, they know his voice. And the good shepherd, when he speaks, we know that and we're, we hear him and we know what's calling to us. I love that part of that, that they know his voice. We know the voice of the good shepherd. So listen for that today. The other thing, the last part I wanted to bring out here was on the saving shepherd. And he lifts us, he carries us, and he returns us. And he puts us back with the family. He puts us back where we're supposed to be. And, you know, I looked at that and I thought, you know, with the carrying and throwing on the shoulders. And I, I, I hope you, if you got to be there Sunday, you seen the, the pictures that pastor had on the, on the PowerPoint. And one of the last pictures when he, he showed the sheep standing there and Jesus is looking for him. And then he goes over and when he finds it, he picks it up. And as he's returning it, he's carrying it. And I don't know if you caught this in the picture or not, uh, but the very back of that picture, you can see what looks to be like a wolf standing there. Uh, and, and, you know, he, Jesus had grabbed this lamb just in time and he's carrying it back. So, you know, I got to thinking a little bit on the carrying it back. And, you know, one, sometimes the sheep is just worn out. Uh, that little sheep has been struggling. He's been off on his own and he's worn out and he needs to be carried. And that's what the Lord does for us sometimes. But the other side of it is I thought, you know, he puts it up over his shoulders because that's the highest point. All the other, all the other evil, 
um, things that are trying to get to that lamb, the things that are trying to hurt that lamb, destroy that lamb. That, that's the wolves, the coyotes, you know, whatever it may be. Where are they? They're on the ground. So he puts us up on top of his shoulders, that meaning nothing is going to get to us that, that he won't deal with first. Nothing can reach us when he when we allow him to carry us, when we listen to his voice and we allow him to carry us, nothing is going to get to us while we're on his shoulders. That, that, uh, that thought has just stuck with me uh, since the message Sunday. So I hope that gives you a little something. I hope that's a little nugget for you all to hold on to. Let, let the Lord lift you up, let him carry you, and let him return you to the family today. I love you guys. I hope you have a great week. Remember to pray for me. And as always, I'm praying for you. God bless.